Welcome back to New Zealand. Now I'm still in New Plymouth on my little road trip. I bought myself a, a hut pass for the Poakai Hut. And it's around about a five hour, five and a half hour return walk. But once you get to the hut, so I'm, I'm staying, I'm going to walk up now, stay overnight, walk back down tomorrow. Once you get to the hut, there's a little area called the Tarns. Uh, small ponds, lakes, sort of thing, really small things. Uh, mountain Tarns. And uh, there's a few of them apparently, so uh, you, you can get, if you're incredibly lucky, you can get reflections of Mount Taranaki perfectly framed in these, uh, yeah, like that. That's it, effectively. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. In an ideal world, that's what it was like yesterday in the last two or three days. Perfect, not a cloud in the sky. It was amazing, right? But I didn't get there, I was on other, other little walks. Anyway, for me personally, today it's it's quite cloudy, it's quite grim. Warm, very overcast. But I'm not bothered because I want, with that is crystal clear skies, I don't particularly want that. I want some mold and some some murk and some mist and some cloud and I want all the grim stuff in there. Uh, so that's my plan and today fingers crossed perfect 2 15 in the afternoon so uh, I'm gonna get my gear together get my ass up that hill and uh, see it on the track cheers guys and uh, tag along see what we get let's get stuck in <laughs> About 45 minutes in, I'm not gonna lie, it's hard work. It's a fairly easy track, but with the weight on my back, and my legs are still knackered from the last couple of days. But to be honest with you, great track. Just keep pushing on, keep pushing on. hot day I was sweating I was sweating like a prince in a girls school it's not a good look Oh yes, balls to the bush. It's known as Rua Humoko after the guardian, the kaitiaki of the area. Now, when I set off this morning, or well, this afternoon actually, I was hoping for a bit of cloud. You know, a little bit of cloud, misty cloud crossing the mountain. When I first got here, 
first view of the mountain was absolutely stunning, breathtaking, just beautiful. Crystal clear, not a cloud knocking about, absolutely gorgeous. Got a couple of shots, a couple of shots with a nice bit of light on it. And I like them. But then all this mist and cloud, low cloud kept rolling by. And to be honest with you, I mean, I've just kept clicking off and clicking off, clicking off. I'm not getting perfect reflection, I'm not, in fact, I'm not getting much of a reflection in the uh, in the town at all. There's too much wind knocking about. I've got a 10 stop ND filter on, a 0.9 soft grad just to bring down the sky a little bit. Shooting F11, ISO 100, and I'm getting round about between 25 and 30 seconds exposure, which is just giving me a nice little bit of movement in the clouds, which is, which is what I wanted, it's perfect. The shots I got earlier on, with a bit of sunlight on the mountain, I'll leave them in colour, I think they're going to look pretty cool. But the ones with the clouds rolling past, because there's no effective light on there, I'm really keen to put them in, I'm really keen to try them in black and white, or even sepia tone actually, I think they might look quite cool in sepia, I'll give them a try. Uh, but anyway, so my, my plan is, it's not much of a plan actually, it's 6.30 now, I'm, sunset is round about 8 45 something like that so i'm gonna i'm gonna stick about it's probably another half an hour's walk back to the hut where i'm staying tonight but i'm thinking instead of walking back and then coming back i might as well just sit out here it has got cold i must admit it's uh, the wind's picked up and it's quite cool now uh, so i'll see how long i can stick it i've got some more warm gear in the bag so we'll see we'll see if i need it see if i can stand it failing that i'll head back and i'll come back out the sunset Looking at the sky out east, no, that's west, that's right. Looking at the sky out west, there doesn't look to be much of a break in the cloud, so I don't know if we're going to get any late evening sunlight on this uh, on this scene. I'd love it to be, but I don't think there's going to be. Who knows? But you've got to be in it to win it, so I'm going nowhere. And then tomorrow morning, I'm thinking get up at dawn, come down here at dawn, and I may get a little bit of uh, alpine glow on the top of that there mountain. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Again, you've got to be in it to win it. Uh, the strange thing is, like I'm at the opposite side of the country, six and a half hours drive away from where I'm based. I've climbed three and a half, three hours up a mountain to get to the hut. First people I spot in the hut, there's a big family in the hut. Two sisters, one lives in Aussie, one lives in hey, Napier no, of all places, Napier. Eh? So I've travelled all this bloody way to meet a family from Napier. Fantastic. Uh, so they're all good, and then the other guy, there's another guy that I'm, I'm bunked next to actually. Pommy lad, turns out he's from bloody Yorkshire, fancy that eh? Hull City, Hull supporter. But there you go, eh? All this way to meet a Yorkshireman and a bloody Napier right. Fantastic. You couldn't write it, you really couldn't. Well I couldn't anyway. Alright guys, so uh, for now, I'm going to tune out and uh, I'm going to sit back and I'm just going to enjoy that there scene behind me. Because it's absolutely, it's breathtaking. I'm absolutely... I mean, I'm inspired. I mean, I don't know what I am. I'm just amazed. It's gorgeous. All right, guys, worth every second of the walk. Ooh, I thought you'd be there. So, guys, as nice as that uh, that shot was at the tan, and don't get me wrong, it was very nice. Let me just set this uh, shot going. While I'm waiting for sunset, I thought I'll have a walk down and just carry on on the trail and see, see, uh, what the views I can get and to be honest with you I prefer these views I've found a couple of nice locations not far off the beaten track not even off the track I'm not saying that I'm on the track uh, but not too far away from the towns I definitely need a shave uh, so I've, I've come up with a couple of nice shots and we've got that mist rolling in again a good scout round and uh, there's shots everywhere I mean You've got a big mountain, you've got mist. You can't go wrong, you really can't fail. Uh, but I've, I'm looking for something not unique because thousands of people have been up here. Everybody will have seen this shot I'm going to take. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have, but I've not seen it. So, uh, so I'm going to give it a go. Now, behind me, down that sort of gully, right at the bottom there, right about there, there's a little gully that leads out to the mountain. And on both sides, obviously, you've got the sides of the gully coming down and the mountain 
sticking up right bang in the middle proud and tall and pretty pretty imposing so that's my shot i think it's going to make a really nice aesthetically pleasing photograph and to be honest with you you look over my shoulder there when i just adjust this focus however i work that out there you go you see some blue sky coming in not a lot but we've got some that's that's clear sky that white shit there that's quite clear sky so uh, when the sun gets below that uh, i think we're in for a bit of a cracking shot to be fair so excited <laughs> sunrise neither have done much much at all to be honest uh, I'm cold I'm tired didn't sleep till flash too much snoring not me give it another five minutes here hoping for a bit of a miracle can't see it happening there's no clouds whatsoever a little bit of mist rolling through no colour so uh, I'm going to call it a draw. I'm going to call this a wrap guys and uh, make my way back down to the van. I've got about a two and a half hour walk in front of me. It should be easy enough going downhill. Uh, desperately, desperately need to sleep. Desperately need a coffee. Last night's photographs though, I'm quite happy with. Got a few nice shots from last night. Alright guys, so uh, for now from uh, New Zealand and the beautiful, beautiful Mount Taranaki, Jackie Terminal. Thank you.